Welcome to Texas Bear Adventures. I'm Brad Harrow, your host, and today we're back at my in-laws' house, and uh, we got the pour is going to be tomorrow morning at about six, is what my buddy Travis said. Uh, this is post tension, so there's very little rebar, and the reason why this is post tension is because the 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 soil underneath the slab is uh is made up of a lot of clay so it's it's quite expansive and um you either do uh post tension or you do some type of piers and you know piers is very costly as far as that goes so this is the next best option got our plumbing installed uh of course we already had the rough end done before they put the bags we ran our water lines that's the garage there um, so we got our water lines, water heater is going to be here, water softener is going to be here. So that's why everything's kind of over in that area. That's going to be in our main hub. Got our, uh, main line coming in, which is this one inch right here. Um, and they're going throughout the slab over to each, uh, fixture. And then, so we got a three quarter hot and cold, and we also have a return line coming from over there. We have the same thing over there. That's the master. So we got a, a hot and hot return and then a main cold. And then everything just loops from each location to the other fixtures. We got the master shower on the far end. We got a tub. We have a, a urinal, a toilet. That is a laundry room washer machine. And then that's a laundry room sink. We have... Uh, here is going to be a kitchen sink. We have an island. It's a gas line with a sleeve. We have an ice maker. That's a, another lavatory, and there's going to be a, another lavatory next to it. Toilet and tub over there. <clears throat> Let's see what else. This is going to be a future for upstairs. And uh, we got a toilet, a urinal, and there's going to be a lavatory. We're going to do a sidearm over there. Let me show you all this. Um, the, the... <clears throat> Let me show you all how this post tension works. So you have a cleat here. There's wires in the middle. And this little cleat is it has, it's like Chinese handcuffs. And uh, that wires in this sleeve and it runs all the way across there. So we'll go over here to this side. And this side over here is gonna have uh, the wire sticking through the form. So you see that wire sticking through the form right there? So after they pour the concrete, so this side's got all the wires sticking through. Okay, they pour the concrete. This concrete is now in the slab and you got this little collar. <clears throat> they wreck the forms after the concrete is poured and then they have this machine that tightens up that the wire inside this blue sleeve and it, it kind of puts, well, it puts tension on it, post tension, hello. Um, and there's, I mean, you got, that's a fireplace, so you got steel in there for that. But <clears throat> like all the beams here, they're all just without any rebar in them. It's crazy. But with the cost of steel uh, these days with the pandemic and uh, the current president in office with inflation going up and, and all that, it's, we're trying to make it the most economical way to build this house and this is it so we got to do a couple of small things here before but that's what it looks like it's pretty cool i don't know if you've ever wondered what a post tension slab looks like you know what's in a post tension slab this is it so unfortunately i'm not going to be able to be here for the poor i wish i was but I'm going to be out of town, so um, hopefully everything goes off without a hitch, which I'm sure it will. Travis pours a lot of slabs all over this area. He's a perpetual, and uh, that's all I got to say about that. <clears throat> I 
I hope you enjoyed this episode of Texas Bitter Adventures, and I'll catch you on the flip side. You dang hillbillies!